Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. This is Mike here. Today I am working on a Gottlieb EM called 300. This is the four player version of another game that you may have seen in other videos called Top Score. It's a bowling themed uh, electromechanical game. And uh, this is a game that was donated to our club that has been beautifully restored. And I should probably do a show just on some of the work that's been done on this because this game was really in bad shape before one of our guys took amazing care of uh, getting it restored. But anyway, um, my objective today is to do a few little adjustments. We've got the game working pretty nice, and I want to kind of tweak it a little bit. And I thought, well, I might as well turn the camera on and show you what I'm doing. So what I'm going to talk about is a few of the in-game settings that you can do and how you change certain settings on these EMs. So obviously, when you look down here inside the cabinet, there's no dip switches. Um, there's no test button or anything like that, like a solid state game, no configuration, no menus or anything like that. So how you change settings here in these games is you have these Jones plugs. And you see here you've got uh, basically a pin and it plugs into these sockets and that's how you change different settings. In this case there's a little thing here that says second shoot adjustment. So this determines uh, how many uh, plays are registered based on uh, the what goes into the shoot. So this is how you set your coin denominations and how many games people get. Um, one thing about these EMs is all of the settings are not in the same spot. In some places you'll see some configuration options down here, there's some in the backboard. There's also sometimes some hidden underneath the play field. And every game is a little bit different. Now what I'm looking to do today is this game is set on five ball play. And I'm going to switch it over to three ball play. I like to make my games a little bit harder. And um, so I want to make that change. So I've got to find where it is that you change it from three ball to five ball. So it's not in the back box, so I'm looking up underneath here, and uh, I don't see a whole lot here. There's just little relays. This is a little relay that may handle the match numbers as well as some other game features. I'm not sure. I'd have to check. But right down here, way in the back, this is what we're looking for. Let me see if I can get a little light on it and you can see. Okay. Right here. We've got two adjustment things right there. It says conservative liberal adjustment right here. And I think this affects um, the bonus uh, balls that end up being, there's a hole up there that when you land in it, it gives you from one to three uh, extra bonus things. And it's semi-random. And this probably sets it to give more or less. And then right over here, you see here's another Jones plug. And it says, it's hard to see, but way it read, there's this three ball or five ball. So if it's on the right, it's a five ball. If it's on the left, it's on a three ball. So what I want to do is I'm going to pull this thing out. Got to do a little bit at a time. That, okay, see? Kind of make sure all of these things are nice and clean. And then I'm going to slide that up into three ball section right here. This is hard to do when you're holding with one hand. Oops, let me take a look at that. Okay. Right there. There it is. So I will push that all the way in like that. Always take a good look at it to make sure that uh, it's lined up right. So I've moved that, that connector from the right side over to the left side, and that sets it from five ball to three ball. So that's, that's basically the main adjustment. Now, if I wanted to, to change the score threshold where games are awarded, there's a similar set of pins that are in the back box where you move them around, and that sets what the games are. And uh, there's another video I've done where I show how to set that, so I would look for that if you want to find a little more detail. In this case... I'm just uh, just want to change this over to to three ball. So there you have it. I, I was going to try to close the the 
cabinet with one hand, but I really don't want to have some accident because he's holding the camera with one hand and then trying to close that play field. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do it. So, anyway, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. This was just a little short thing, a little something quick I wanted to do. And uh, you can see I've got a lot more games to work on and repair. Most of these are working, but I've been going down one by one, taking care of them all. So there's going to be more videos and more good stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. For more, visit uh, pinballhelp.com. Thanks for your support.